Right, here's an amazing part of this mine, if Gary. If you see this junction here, this will actually move. If she picks up and it's still there we go. Still working. I'll put it back. So yes, part of the rail system is still in place. We've got two tunnels ahead. The right hand one uh, is dead just up there, but the thing around here have got this amazing graze with the uh, iron deposits all the way down it. With this incredible arch has got calcite deposits. There's Gary for scale. <laughs> and calcite deposits all over this place. So. And even here we've got uh, calcite terraces. This comes down here. Uh, an incredibly beautiful part of this, this mine. just around the corner uh, and you can see here the on the right is the hanging wall the uh, all vein would have been up against that and on the left would have been the, the foot wall but you can see it's arched there where it's weaker and if only wanted to arch that thing so it's like a quarter arch but it wouldn't there the black here is manganese and that's often associated with the presence of zinc you can see zinc deposits in other areas but that one is manganese there's a good example of a manganese deposit. Black, shiny, all these intricate little patterns in it. Excellent, lovely no, stuff. And uh, here's some very rotten wood. So we will continue. Yeah, beautiful place. One of my favourites. Right, a little further on, we come across a construction mystery. This uh, strange, unique piece of arch here. So, if we go to the edge of that arch there, you can see up behind are some workings which look very collapsed. So we're wondering if uh, the workings are finished and they've built this to protect the level from the collapsing stuff above it. And uh, it's not just normal arch, it's been steel reinforced with the uh, iron rails. So that's quite inter an interesting little mystery here. Anybody knows? Let us know. We've got some uh, growth here, some uh, bacterial growth. Or is it fungus growth? Some of it's actually minerals that leach out and form these formations, but there's some actual minerals there. Bit of iron and manganese, and I just see some blue zinc on that one there, just in the centre. Where's that one dripping away? Beautiful place. So we're going to proceed. Oh, yeah, it's got a blue tin to it. It's so my thought you were in. That's amazing, don't you? Yeah. Well, that's fine. And here's one of our first four hoppers in the mine. Uh, we can climb up there, but we're not doing that today. We have done that in another video. And see the ore hopper itself plug. And there's a lot of water coming from it. There we go. That's where it lives. Beautiful man. There's the awesome up there. Right, we're going to see some massive structures in a moment, but here's a, another ore hopper. It goes way up there. <coughs> These structures are very old and very soft, so probably not best to interfere with them because this wood is very soft. You can see here, magnificently beautiful as we work our way down this level. one has got this arch here same again about 200 years old and it's holding hundreds of tons of weights of deads up there deads all, all around if you don't know what deads are they are rocks that didn't have ore in the miners did not get paid to remove the ore so they built structures well they not build structures they built structures of deads uh, using them sometimes they'd lie in the tunnels to improve airflow 
Uh, these main arches here, these weren't made from deads. This is from a local quarry. This is purposely quarried and shaped stone to do the arches themselves. Yeah, you can go up there, but not today. And here's one of my favorite parts. This is a massive door hopper, which has partially collapsed. Don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there is a thingy up there. <laughs> an arch up there. Not much left of the hopper itself. Yeah, a lot of it down here. A lot of it way on the ground. Looks, uh, so, looks like our uh, men went up the middle and the ore came down either side. So this must have been a very busy ore hop which suggests large workings up there. Which we'll get to sometime. Here's another prime example of if it doesn't need to be done, don't do it. You can see how this left hand side, they've uh, left the rock there and uh, just arched, well, the rock in the most susceptible areas to collapse. I assume that's what they're doing. Uh, this goes for quite a distance down the level. Let's see here. There's some more sandstone. So, right, Gary's uh, having a nosy at something here. Let's see what he's looking at. Oh yeah, this is one of the reasons. And there we go, there goes. Way up there. And there's multiple levels and all sorts of stuff going on up there. Very confusing. further down the level and as you can see it's a good example of um, where the ore vein would have been to the right is the hanging wall to the left is a very shiny flat wall relatively so this is where the two rocks of the original fault would have been rubbing up against each other and then uh, the rock the uh, ore would have developed in between here and the superheated fluids that would have filled this void cool so yeah that's a prime Example of how the veins worked. We're going on that way. Oh, right, and here's Gary entering some deeper water. It's not the deepest section, but you know, it's deeper than we've been in so far. I'm going to follow him. But you can see here, uh, the water has been deeper because you've got these tide marks by the side of the level. And up above in this section, you've got this unusual growth which you don't see in most other mines. It's this sort of black crystal. If anybody's got any idea what that is, uh, let us know in the comments, please. But in the meantime, we're going to carry on. Look that watch there. Going to little workings. We're heading that way. Right, just a bit further on, you can see the hanging wall on the right, uh, the arched foot wall on the right left, but you can see that black mark halfway up. It's on both sides. So that tells me, and you can see it going further down the drift as well. Uh, that tells me the water has been uh, much higher, <laughs> which suggests there will have been large collapses further down the drift, either when it was operational or later, which have been cleared. And you can see it's yeah, even more pronounced in this section. So there we go. Right, just further up. Uh, rare example of a cart chassis with wheels, because a lot of the wheels are oh, the wheels were valuable, so a lot of them were removed and the mine closed. So you don't see them too often. There are a few in this area, just to make an exception to the rule. And this wooden frame still surviving. Very nice. Right, just a bit further on, and uh, again, here's another one of these huge raises. This one is surviving quite well considering. So all going down the side there, men in the middle and all down that side. The reason you can tell uh, where the men came down is that's where the structure is because you don't want the old dropping smashing the support structure so they all came down the smooth part. Yeah. A little further on you can see Gary's just climbed through there and you can see the geology's changed it's now become shale which means you've got to be careful so as you can see there the wall has collapsed so carefully do this as we proceed. Here's our lowest section today. It's not really low, low, as it is the lowest. But it's show you going through there. So I'm going to go and follow him now. 
<laughs> Here we go. In a moment. Any moment. Oh yes. Whoa. You perhaps can't see watching this, but he's just sunk into silt. It's quite thick silt in this bit. I'm just gonna follow him. Right. Uh, the last bit of video may have got cut out, but Carrie uh, dropped into this bit of the level, which is thick with silt. Uh, so progress is slow. The silt is possibly up to our knees, I think. Uh, and here you got a mini hopper. We got some workings there. Uh, obviously not huge workings if it's served by such a small hopper. And that there. Not sure what that is, but have a look. And this section here, you can actually see in the shale the individual uh, deposits, uh, seasons or washouts from the river that laid this mud stone basically in a shallow sea. And I think that there, that white stuff, might be zinc deposits. Not entirely sure. It could be some sort of growth, but it looks like secondary mineralization, possibly. Ooh. Must be zinc. And bloody, oh, bloody yeah, still thick with silt and cold, even though I've got wet suits on. Lovely! It's just coming through here, and uh, there's another raise <coughs> there that has collapsed, which means we've got to climb over its remains. It also means that beyond this collapse, we've got deeper water, so fun, fun, fun. A moment later, I'm back into the uh, thick silt. You can see here again uh, where that collapse we just got through. Before it was possibly dug out and there was a drain put in. You can see the water had backed up quite high. And uh, looks like it's been even higher in the past. Well, so yeah, it would have been very difficult, if not impossible, to pass through this section before that was dug out. So. A lot of effort goes into keeping these whole mines open, especially when they're first reopened. So, uh, we'll carry on. Right, here's something if you've not been in a lead mine before or any mine, you might see these patterns in mud in the drift. And um, some people think it's an animal. In fact, I did when I first did this. But what it actually is, it's water dripping from the stone arches. In fact, if you see this one, it's dripping, actively dripping. Um, yeah, it's got a the so yeah, that's what that is. Here's a classic problem in old mines. Uh, right hand side has been arched, but at the time they didn't felt they didn't need to uh, arch the left hand side. But since closure, yeah, a lot of that shale has since come down. So that's just a rock. Looks like a sole of a shoe, but it's not. It's a pretty shale. Weird. Okay, we'll continue on. There's Gary going all over another piece. Uh, well, I didn't consider it needing arching. But since then, uh, it's gone. It looks like there was an iron bar across to try and hold something, but that's good way. So, yeah, going to climb over that now. example of a hanging wall, a very smooth hanging wall, which part of the fault is very smooth, so very nice. Further up the level, obviously, we've <laughs> got uh, some rocks that have been abandoned here, some piping, and if we follow this up here, we've got quite a nice feature, oh, a very nice feature. Oh, ow! Is this right my hand as you punch the side of the thing falling over in the silt? Which is this raise, which is completely coated over with iron. That's quite a try well. Quite beautiful. You can't uh, go up to it because you'll just destroy it. It's soft, so.
18 hundred or so uh, airbox. So this wouldn't have been used for rest tools, they're not compressed tools then. This would have been used for uh, just providing air to the miners. Uh, probably run by a furnace, put the dragging air in or something like that. Way further down the mine. It's quite rare for them to survive, but this one's doing quite well. And there's a, a, a later compressor pipe for compressed air from the later workings. Just down from there is some original wooden ladders. So very rare for them to survive, especially in a wet environment like this one. Uh, but I've seen so far they still touch it because odds are they were very, very soft and just collapse. You can see the ones have gone on that one. There we go. And just a headway, Gary. Is a shaft uh, which you can see another part of in another video, so I'm gonna lay that video in here but uh, the video shown in that shaft this is actually the bottom of it and it even has the original airbox coming down there it is I'm just Okay, the level does go on, but there's only another wet shaft to see down there. There's no real features down there at all, and it's uh, chest deep. And it's cold today, so uh, we're going to call this quit here. So, hope you've enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe if you have. Um, thank you very much. So coming along with us on our adventure.